What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick video to bring to your attention two new methods for remapping the Bixby button on your Galaxy S8 and your Galaxy S8 Plus. Now Samsung pushed out an update that killed off most of the apps that were allowing you to remap the Bixby button to open some other app, to open Google Now, etc. So two new methods have surfaced. Neither one of these methods are mine, so I will link the sources below. The first one that I wanna show you guys is called Bix Remap and it's from uh, Android developer Dave Bennett. So he actually developed this app himself and then posted it over on the Play Store. It's a very simple app, but it works very nicely. There it is, Bix Remap, already got 500 downloads. I'll link it below if you wanna grab it. I already have it running here on my Galaxy S8 Plus. It's very simple, it only has one function, which is to remap the Bixby button to Google Now. So you can't choose any custom app or any other services, only Google Now. Uh, you get a little notification at the very top here in your notification shade that shows you that Bix Remap is in fact running. You can stop the service, the notification goes away, start the service back up. Very simple, no other options at all. You do have to give it some access to uh, your accessibility settings as usual with these type of apps. And what it's gonna do is it actually brings up the Bixby home and then it overlays Google Now on top of it. So you'll see when I press the Bixby button, Bixby comes up and then Google Now loads right on top of it. So of course, this isn't the most efficient, nice implementation like the original remap schemes, but you do end up getting to an app that you actually want instead of ending up with Bixby when you press the button. So that's one option right there if you're only interested in Google Now. The other option, which was brought to my attention uh, by an article over on Ozdroid, and I will link their original story below, that is Bixby Remapper. So right here, I'll link it below in the Play Store. This one's a little more versatile in that it actually allows you to remap a whole bunch of actions to the Bixby button. As you can see right here, you have the option to turn the service on or off again using this button at the top. You have to give it access to some accessibility settings as well. But here you can actually change this to do Google Now, voice search, camera. You can also do, if you look up here, a custom app. So if you wanna choose a custom app, you can select an app from any of the ones that you have installed. So say I wanna get Reddit, boost for Reddit up. I can then press the Bixby button. Again, it's gonna load Bixby, and then right away it's gonna load the boost for Reddit app right behind it. So this is really nice overall. I definitely like this one a little bit better just because I can actually do any custom action that I'm interested in. I also found that between the two, Bixby Remapper seems to be a little bit faster. Here you can see it with Google Now, just in case you're interested. Uh, but again, they're both gonna load Bixby and then load the other app on top. But if you're interested, uh, it's definitely something that's going to get you a solution so that when you press the Bixby button, you're not stuck with Bixby Home and then you have to close it uh, and go out. It'll make it a little more convenient, a little more of a tool for you. All right guys, so that's a quick video showing you how you can go ahead and remap Bixby on both your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Find all the links below. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com. Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.